On the night before he was dumped so ruthlessly, uh, Kevin Rudd said that he'd been elected as Prime Minister by the Australian people, not by Labor's faction leaders. This campaign is all about you versus Tony Abbott, uh, just like the last one was Rudd versus Howard, except now if people do vote you into office, you can't actually guarantee that you'll be there for the full term, can you? Well, uh, Kerry, you know, sort of turn it up, I suppose. I mean, uh, I'm here as Prime Minister now because I've got the confidence of the Labor Party caucus and uh, in our Westminster system, that's what makes leaders. That's why Tony Abbott is there uh, presenting as the Liberal leader in this campaign because he defeated Mr Turnbull by one vote. But, but um, you, so, know, you, know you know the way this, this, this uh, elections operate in this country. They're, it's almost presidential these days in the way leaders present themselves, the way the focus goes on the leaders. Many, many, many Australian voters would believe that in voting for their Labor candidate, they're voting for Julia Gillard as Prime Minister. Because it now seems your party has set a new standard that if a leader drops in the polls to a point, even in a first term, where there seems some danger that they could lose, gone. Well, Kerry, I understand that there are Australians who, when they vote, um, you know, believe in a, in a system that necessarily focuses on the leaders and election campaigns do, that they are, you know, voting for a particular leader. But the, the truth of our system is I am in the same position as Prime Minister Howard was, Prime Minister Keating was, Prime Minister Hawke was. I am in no different position well, you're, presenting you're, at this election. Can I suggest to you that you are that there is one substantial difference? Nobody would have thought of replacing Bob Hawke in his first term. Nobody would have thought of replacing Paul Keating in his first term. Nobody would have thought of replacing John Howard in his first term. Kevin Rudd was replaced in his first term. Does that not set a new standard, at least as far as your party is concerned? If it looks like you're going to lose two years or two and a half years into your next term, why wouldn't they apply the same standard? Well, Kerry, uh, as we're seeing played out somewhat spectacularly uh, between uh, former Prime Minister Hawke and former Prime Minister Keating, our nation has had these issues dealt with by political parties in oh, office I before. I think Paul <laughs> Keating was at least prepared to give Bob Hawke eight years. Well, uh, you know, we're, we're seeing that played out to uh, grand effect at the moment, aren't we?